and we don't have much to talk about in the world, but we do have some, well, major for what's been going on for the past few weeks in terms of movement. Um, we're going to start down here um, instead of going up that way. Some of the weird things is there used to be this little bump right here, right, um, different to this bump, but here, now that bump's just switched over here. That's really all that's happened over here. Some minor movements there, but not much. One of the little tendrils that was out here that came out of this area has been cut off by Ukrainian forces. But um, Ukrainian forces or Russian forces have pushed back Ukrainian forces over here. Um, same here. We these tendrils out here have expanded a little bit more. So we're going to probably continue to see this tendril strategy by the Russian advances. Um, other than that, we haven't seen much in the way of week 14. Um, and there's still yet to be seen anything for Ukraine in relation to um, being accepted into NATO. So we'll have to see that. Other than that, we haven't seen any other major things, but one interesting statistic is that Russia now controls about 20% of Ukraine by landmass. So though they have fallen way, lost a lot of land up here, they still do control a big chunk of Ukraine. So we, but Russian forces have really slowed down. So are they truly winning it? It's hard to be seen. Additionally, there have been reportedly hundreds of Russian soldiers that have deserted due to terrible conditions within their army. So we will have to see what happens as this war continues.